Now, if you look straight ahead, we've got warning sign road narrows on the left, but we've got national speed limit signs also. So I'm just checking my mirror to see if there's anybody overtaking, because if there's somebody overtaking, I'm not going to put my foot down. Now, do not come along here and drive like Mother Teresa, because, bless her soul, or she will fail. Now, it's a 60 road, I'm up to 45 miles per hour. Now, I'm up to 50 miles per hour now, and I'm happy with 50, and so will that drive the examiner. But you don't come down here 30, or she'll get a serious fault. I think it's box number 22. Sorry, box number 20, driving at appropriate speed. So I'm down to 45 because of the car in front. I'm keeping a nice big gap. You've got 50 signs up ahead, so I'm checking my mirrors. Now you've also got the Greyhound Stadium. Now believe it or not, you might get dogs running across the road, and you know how fast they are. So I'm down to 45 here. I've got the garage to the left. You've got your solid wide lines, which mean no overtake unless it's a slow moving maintenance vehicle doing less than 10 miles an hour. You've got your right turn there for the stadium. There's no greyhounds running across the road. Um, got a sign to the left. Time to repeat the sign. 50 sign time you can park. And I'm still, I'm only doing 45 miles per hour. 47 now, but I, obviously I can't go any faster because of the car in front. I've got a nice position, which in a narrow road like this is in the middle. Um, we've got your countdown markers up ahead, telling you that it's 300 yards to the 30. Um, then you've got the 200 yard one. Now I'm going to see if I can get to the 30 without braking. So I can get bang on the 30 without braking. So I've just come off my gas now. Actually, I've gone back on it. I'm going to come off. There's the 30 signs. I'm coming off now. See if I can get to the 30 without braking. 31, oh, just, well, just, now we've got a warning sign, telling the sign, you've got a car in front, turn right, you've got the island refuge, you've got side roads left and right, check my mirror and see what's happening behind, I'm doing 29, um, you've got, again, you've got a post van parked on the left, so I anticipate the door open, you've got the green flash now, remind them I'm doing 29, um, you've got the island refuge, now it says the sign there is gate set straight ahead, so it's middle right dormer because of the green van in front, green car sorry now the lights is changing the green so I'm just dropping it into third gear actually I was in sixth I think drop that into third lights still on green if it change now I'm going through um, I'm doing about 25 miles an hour you've got side roads left look you've got the flashing number telling there could be kids crossing um, you've got your island refuge again remember you don't give away to people them just be ready to stop you've got your pedestrian crossing check your middle mirror Look both sides, you've got a jogger to the right, park cars left, cars up ahead of Brigham. Um, came well back from the van in front. Now I'm just easing off the gas because of the space involved. You've got a guy to the left with his orange luminous jacket on the post guy, postman. Um, again, I'm only doing 21 miles an hour here because of the van in front. I'm watching for any doors open, I'm watching for any cars moving off. Just watch for people stepping out. You've got another crossing, check your mirror. Scambo sides, We've got pedestrian activity on the left, and I'm doing 22 miles an hour along here. Now, obviously, there's I'd be going a little bit faster than this if it wasn't for the traffic in front. Now, I'm looking for the signs for Gateshead, which is straight ahead. I don't know, there's a guy reversing onto the major road from the driveway. Door opening, look, did you see the door open? He didn't look in his mirror, did he? Eddie's autos, Ed's autos. So we're looking for, we need to move back the left lane, so we check the middle left door mirror. Uh, we can't get over there yet, so I'm just going to sit behind the wagon, uh, behind the van, sorry. Lights has changed to green. Now, I'm not really going to bother, well, I will give a signal because this car is close behind. Just tell them moving over. I just cancel it straight away. Um, if you did end up in the right lane, just turn right, put a signal off right, turn right. You don't get wrong for that. It's not a problem. But again, the traffic's just very slow along here. I'm only doing 20 miles per hour. It is a 30. How can you tell it's a 30? Well, the street lights is this built-up area. Look for your clues. If you see 30s in the side road, you're on a 40. Um, you also have repeater signs when it's 40. Now I'm bang on the 30. So I can see why learners could fail here for speeding. You've got to watch your speed. 30 here feels really, really slow. That's a great big pothole I've just went over. Try to miss them out if you can, the suspension records them things. Now you've got your side road to 